Welcome to PET 605, Example 3, Yield Circle. In the previous example, it was concluded that the pipe would experience 80% of yield if it were subjected to a pressure differential of 7,870 psi for the given axial load. These results are shown as two red dots in Figure 4. Before accepting this result, we need to consider two additional design criteria as given by API Technical Report 5C3 from 2008. For burst calculations, we need to remain below the pressure predicted by the API version of the Barlow formula. While for collapse calculations, we need to adhere to the API collapse equations. For burst, we use 87.5% of the nominal wall thickness in the Barlow equation. For 9 and 5 8 inch casing collapse, we use the API plastic collapse formula. On the circle itself, the effective von Mises stress in the tubular material is equal to its yield strength. Inside the circle, the tubular stress is below yielding. The top half of the circle is for calculating burst pressure and the bottom half is for collapse pressure. On the left, the tubular is compressed, while on the right, it is in tension. The tubular design is within API uniaxial limits for data points inside the rectangle. The four dotted lines all pertain to uniaxial loading. The top horizontal line is the Barlow equation with reduced wall thickness, while horizontally on the bottom is the API plastic collapse pressure. The vertical line to the left is yielding in compression, and on the right, yielding in tension, assuming failure at 100% yield. Typically, the circle is drawn with a radius equal to 80% of what is shown in the figure. This represents a design factor of 1.25. Such circles would pass through the two red dots in the figure. In a similar manner, it is customary to adjust the two vertical lines to include a design factor. Alternatively, the x-axis could be expressed as a force if the axial stress is multiplied by the cross-sectional area of steel. Note that the 3D burst at 80% yield is lower than the API burst. So this is the max limit for the given axial loading. For collapse, on the other hand, the yield equation must be replaced by the API plastic collapse equation.